da Coreia da Carélia do Norte, desculpa, na Finlândia, que vai apresentar a estratégia da região para uma área de baixo carbono e livre de petróleo fóssil. A Eira, portanto, para além de diretora regional, portanto, é responsável pela estratégia regional e pelo desenvolvimento regional de vários programas, quer tanto europeus, quer internacionais, a nível também da cooperação, e, portanto, tem também um, uma licenciatura em Ciências Sociais na área da Geografia Humana. E, e também é docente na Universidade da Finlândia, com uma especialização na transição na Rússia e na uh, Europa de Leste. Obrigado. Foi de hoje. Yes, thank you, Mr. Chairman, ladies and gentlemen. So, I will tell you a story, a case of North Karelia and Finland about this uh, way towards to fossil free bioeconomy and in that way to the circular economy. And here in this picture, so we have a uh, map of, uh, I have put the circular there where we are about and now we are here in, in Spain and we have discussed about these regions here. But uh, just uh, to remind you where we are from, so uh, North Karelia is on the Russian border here, the mark with the red color. We, have, we are quite small region, 165,000 inhabitants which means that we have very low population density and uh, we have a big region, big area, territory of our region. So, uh, one uh, two-thirds of Belgium uh, territory <laughs> is the same size than our region. And uh, the forest is our, our uh, Dresser there in Finland. And uh, just to give you some numbers, yeah. also it's 9 million, but we cut only 4.5 million. <coughs> and uh, that's why there are much resources <coughs> uh, still to utilize. And this uh, forest bioeconomy cluster is a driver of our regional economy. There are some figures about, uh, about it. So we have about 500 companies, uh, about 6,000 jobs in the forest bioeconomy, uh, uh, 1.7 billion uh, uh, euros turnover, uh, and then we have also a, spe a lot of specialists. The first speaker here told that here in Extremadura is a lot of uh, university workers and uh, researchers about that theme of bio, well, circular economy. So we have also in our forest bioeconomy. So there are several research institutes and even the European Forest in Institute is located in our region. And of course also uh, other education and public uh, administration. Um, so, and the earlier speaker also mentioned this a strategic basis by the European Union. So, so this smart specialization strategy. And uh, um, we have also in Finland uh, the national strategy. Uh, uh, about this bioeconomy, where we seek to um, um, uh, create new jobs, of course, uh, create uh, welfare, and uh, in Finland we make, make this, uh, we consider this bioeconomy as a food processing, chemistry, energy construction, technology, food and health. And about half of the Finnish uh, bioeconomy sector is uh, consisting of forest bioeconomy. And when it comes to our region, to North Karelia, so this has been the long-term strategic work to uh, create this smart growth 
so it has been our smart specialization strategy actually since uh, the first ones in that time we didn't call them smart specialization but we made bioeconomy strategies already in 1990s and uh, since uh, 2007 so there has been some kind of bioenergy program in our region. And in a uh, new regional strategy which, which will uh, continue till uh, 2021, uh, so it is the choice of the smart specialization. And they are quite uh, uh, hard targets, so they are not, not very easy. So in, uh, in their... Um, here is the target of, of the uh, uh, mm, uh, bioeconomy, and then what is in Finland and what is in North Karelia. And if you remember, so in the European Union level, this all are 20, 20, 20. And in Finnish scale, we have uh, higher, higher um, uh, targets, <coughs> but in our North Karelia case, even the higher, higher ones. And uh, we have uh, made a lot of projects to, to achieve uh, these targets. And uh, when I'm here speaking, I usually speak that, uh, that we are an external core of, uh, of EU, like we are. But of course we use also indirect programs and structural funds and uh, uh, Horizon 2020 program and so on. So we use these different kind of tools to adapt uh, our our course. And um, uh, um, about 40 percent of the funding of our regional strategy goes to this smart specialization. So uh, uh, and we have a uh, high uh, target. So there are these uh, these. Uh, uh, abon abandonment of fossil or use to zero till uh, 2020. And uh, abandonment of fossil transport fuel to zero till uh, 2030. This is quite hard, hard job this one. <laughs> and, uh, and increasing the use of wood energy, uh, it's uh, 51 to 64, and it means also that uh, our target is, is to grow our turnover uh, of bioeconomy by 1 billion, and, uh, and uh, the share of renewable energy total, um, of total energy consumption 200%, and net, net reduction of the greenhouse gas emissions uh, to 80%. And uh, this is, uh, I think, quite interesting uh, slide because here are the results. What has happened in our region since uh, 2007 to 2015 uh, within these targets, what we mentioned. So uh, I put here this, uh, this uh, for fossil energy uh, um, uh, decrease. Uh, with a special mark because it's it's very good. So uh, one third of the of the use of fossil energy has uh, decreased, and this is mainly due to uh, um, in, uh, due to actions by the local municipalities. So they have changed their uh, uh, heating systems and energy systems to use the uh, fossil free. Uh, fuel. In our case, 